news! Sussangs take photos of GOT7's Yu Kyum and BTS's Jungkook in the bathroom? You guys, I want to show this painting because it was purchased the other day. It's called Fallen Blossoms on a very long, narrow, rectangular canvas, but it's very pretty and it's not going to be on our hands too much longer. So I want to share it with you. Click the link down below for all her paintings. Anything you want to add? It's falling blossoms, but <laughs> not falling <laughs> blossoms, but I like it. On back-to-back -back days and in different countries, it was reported that BTS's Jungkook and GOT7's Yu Kyum were both victims of photography in the men's room without their permission. Yes, in Yu Kyum's case, I think it was actually video taken. No. Yes, it was video because somebody heard him singing and so while he was in the stall, they took video and I, I don't, I haven't seen the video, so I don't exactly know what it was, but it was like photo versus video. Oh. There should be no video ever in the men's or women's room ever, ever. No security cameras, no, none of that. It should never go down. I have to admit, just from my own personal ability to talk as much as I can about the subject, I did a search for God's as you Kim's video or photo or whatever on YouTube and on Google. It's nowhere, or at least I couldn't find it. I wasn't sure there was video though. I wasn't sure what I was looking for. I was just searching. I mean, if you search GOT7 Yu Kyum, bathroom automatically pops right in as the top third word for Yu Kyum, oh, at yeah. least for today. Oh yeah. I mean, that's a big deal that a lot of people are apparently searching for it, or a lot of people realize that this is just a, a total no-no. This is like one of the worst things that Sasang fans can do for invasion of privacy. Because when people go to the bathroom, I don't know about you, but <laughs> when I go to the bathroom, I like to be very private. It's like, I don't want anyone else in the room. Just let me be in my space and then let me have my privacy. And when I come out of the bathroom, then I can socialize and take photos and videos and stuff like that. A couple of things really got me about these two particular instances of invasion of privacy. One is that it happened to two different K-pop groups on back-to-back -back days in different countries. BTS and Jungkook happened in Hong Kong at the Mom Awards. Ooh. And then the following day in Malaysia, I think, it happened to Yu Kyum, mm. the video you're saying. But they weren't at the Mom Awards when it happened to Yu Kyum. I mean, GOT7 was at the Mom Awards, but then the following day they were doing something else and it happened. I know that you were telling me it's happened before, but we've never covered this. And the fact that it happened two days in a row in completely separate instances is really, really coincidental and unfortunate. Also, it happened with IOI earlier this year. Okay. The most famous case that I found was Super Junior's He Chul, who came out and talked about it happening in 2013. He was still talking about it, even in November of this year, how it was so traumatizing for him. Um, and this is a quote from him. Even now, I lock the bathroom door and only use the sitting toilet. In the past, fans rushed the bathroom door and I was traumatized by that experience. The crazy part about Jungkook's story is that the person who posted the photo wrote, OMG, OMG, finally I meet Jungkook, but he say no photo, LOL. But they posted the photo anyways. That's so crazy that he did that. He shouldn't have done that or she, I mean, well, I guess it's a he because they were in the men's room. People are assholes. I feel like there's absolutely no way that anybody disagrees that this is really bad judgment on the two people's part, the two guys that were in the bathroom with their phones or the video or whatever they were doing, not asking for permission and just doing it or asking for permission and not getting it and still doing it. Like who would be against that thinking? Why is this not prosecutable? Like why are these people not getting in trouble legally? And I mean, I can understand that you have this whole country specific law that makes this very difficult to do. I think it's very difficult for lawyers in Korea to go outside of Korea and enforce laws that are of another country. That's where the United Nations has some laws in place, but I think it's part of our global problem. <laughs> It just and, is. And because of that, idols have taken it upon themselves to kind of create this unwritten code that they've talked about on different television shows and talk shows and radio shows that they use when going to the bathroom. And here are some of the rules. 
they never use urinals. They always use stalls, but they still have to be careful when they're using stalls and kind of lean forward because fans will get into the adjacent stall, the next stall over, stand on the toilet seat, and still take photos and or video as we have seen in this case. Um, EXO, in fact, actually takes turns standing guard outside the door to protect their fellow members. Yeah, but if they stand guard, then the person who wants to take photo or video can get the video or photo very easily because they're just out in the open standing guard in front of the stall. Or they're standing guard outside the restroom so nobody can come into the actual restroom itself. Oh, they'll just block the front door of the restroom, the front door, the main door into the bathroom and won't let anybody in. But then they still got to deal with you would need a bodyguard or some sort of bouncer for that. Mm-hmm. And some idols actually do use bouncers for reasons like that or bodyguards. There should be some seven-foot dude that just travels with every K-pop group. And when he's got to go to the bathroom or she... He'll just stand guard like this. Yeah. Don't you dare think about going in that bathroom <laughs> because I will kick your ass. The most creepiest rule of all, though, is always be sure to flush. <laughs> Because EXO fans, crazy sussing EXO fans, have actually tried to sell frozen urine and feces from EXO members. Get the fuck out of here. How disgusting could somebody be? Very interested in your comments on this one. Thank you for enlightening me with that list of rules for the K-pop idol's guide to going to the bathroom. It's definitely eye-opening. I know for me personally, the thought of being in their position kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. Let us know what you think. Click the like button while you're down there. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications and don't forget to subscribe for more Hollyback News. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.